What's going on guys? Welcome to your 23rd Java game tutorial. What we're going to do in today's tutorial is actually get random objects coming up on the screen instead of just our gravity up uh, because that's what we have going on right now. Alright, so let's jump into it. Let's go to our starting point class. Um, again, we're going to work within our thread and we're going to create a new random object um, within our thread. So we're going to scroll down to this run method within the while true. We're just going to set up a, like I said, a random object r equals new random. Pretty simple, right? And then within this for loop, again, this for loop is just checking all the items within our item, you know, all the positions of our items within our item array. And if any of those y positions are set equal to the height of our applet plus 100 pixels, so 100 pixels below our applet, uh, then it's going to set our item at that position to be null. Then obviously right here we set up a gravity up item with a, a new random or a new width. Um, so that's what we have going on now. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a switch in case. So we're going to say a switch and we're going to refer to our r variable we're going to say next int, all right, and then we'll put however many items we have. I'm just going to put eight because we'll probably have eight eventually, um, or you know we could change this as we go. But this will create a new random object zero through seven again, which is eight numbers. So, and then what we're going to do is we're going to set up cases. We're going to say if it's the case zero. If it produces the random number of zero, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our item uh, to equal, we're going to cut out this uh, item equals gravity up. If the case is zero, it's going to equal, uh, create our item to be gravity up object, and then we're just going to hit break. So that's how we kind of set this up. I'm just going to copy this, uh, paste it, and then we're going to change this one to case one, and we're going to say instead of create a gravity down object. And then, you know, copy. And paste uh, set up two and three for agility up and a jill down objects whoops okay so we have our jill up and a jill down objects now if it's you know if it produces a random number of two random number of three another thing that we want to do is maybe uh you know add a, a width so it doesn't appear right when we hit the item um, on the right side of our screen. We want to add a random width, so we're going to say plus, uh, you know, like 10 times um, r dot next int. I'm going to give this a random int of 500. So it's going to pick a random distance anywhere 0 through 500 pixels, times that by 10 and we're going to add that to the right of our screen so it won't appear right away. So we're just adding some extra distance to our item so it doesn't get generated uh, right away. Alright, so there we go. Uh, we have kind of the basic concept set up. Um, do we have any other items right now? No. Our game's still pretty lame, but uh, you know this is what we're going to add to when we add new items and this will create a random item for us each time we you know hit our item and it sets our y of that item to be you know the height of our applet plus 100 um, again we probably just want to change this to be 4 right now because we only have 4 cases 0, 1, 2, and 3 um, so that should be good for now let's test this out run it and see what's happening and I found out oh there's a green object alright so I found out a kind of way to cheat so we can move this browser up here which is cool and uh, alright so we're getting both green objects and red objects and I'm gonna get this one as well oh no missed it alright whatever so um, you know as for now our games you know starting to starting to shape up a little bit I think in the next tutorial we're gonna add a score to our game um, get that going on and uh, I'll catch you guys in Thanks again for watching, subscribing, thumbs up, sharing these videos. Definitely appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.